Hello, Hello everybody. everybody, my name is Corey. And I'm Brachan, and welcome to a new Trio Psychumry chemistry lesson. Today we are talking about acids and alkalis, specifically where they are commonly found. But before we do that, let's start thinking about what makes something acidic or alkaline. We use a pH scale to measure this. It ranges from 0 to 14. Acids are defined as pH 0 to 6.9, whilst alkalis are pH 7.1 to 14. Any substance that is pH 7 can be referred to as neutral. Let's start with the most commonly encountered of the two chemical classes, acids. Acids are found in many places, including in our stomachs. They are filled with hydrochloric acid that helps dissolve your food so that your body can absorb all of the nutrients it's made of. The human body is incredible and our stomach is able to protect itself from being burnt by the corrosive acid due to its special lining. Next up is honey. Honey is a very weak acid and this acidity is one of the components of its makeup that stops honey from going off. This works because the acidity kills off bacteria that tries to grow on the honey. There have been pots of honey buried thousands of years ago with Egyptian pharaohs that are still edible today because of the antimicrobial properties of honey. Acids are also found in fizzy drinks. Almost all fizzy drinks contain carbonic, phosphoric and citric acids. These provide the fizz and much of the flavour of the drinks. Unfortunately, they can also cause tooth enamel to soften if people drink too many fizzy drinks and this can lead to some serious health problems such as tooth decay. Our final example of an acid is the batteries found in traditional petrol or diesel engine vehicles. Not the ones being used in new electric cars, they're different. These batteries contain sulfuric acid, which is an essential component in making the batteries work. Next up are the alkalis. These are the chemical opposites of acids. Our first example of an alkali is something many of you will have around your households, soap. Almost all detergents, soaps and even bleaches are alkaline. The alkalinity of these products is what kills microbes like bacteria and viruses, but can be very harsh on your skin. Some manufacturers have begun producing pH neutral soaps that are much kinder to your skin. Talking of cleaning products, toothpaste is also an alkali for much the same reason as the cleaning products that Corey just spoke about. The alkalinity also stops the acid in food and drinks from dissolving the enamel coating on your teeth, and it helps to repair that damage. It can't fix cavities, but it can help you stop them from forming. If you have an upset stomach, especially if you've drunk too many fizzy drinks, which as we have already mentioned can contain several different acids, you may get indigestion. This is caused by an excess of acid in your stomach. To ease this discomfort, you may want to take some antacid tablets. These are made of calcium carbonate, which is a mild alkali, and can help neutralise the excess acid in your stomach, helping you to feel better. Our final example of an alkali is the venom in the sting of a wasp. Wasps use this venom when hunting their prey to digest it from the inside out. This is what causes the pain when you're stung by a wasp. Luckily, the wasp can only produce a tiny amount of this venom, so unless you're allergic to wasps, you should be fine. However, bee stings are the opposite, they're acidic. That's it from us for now, but before we go, we'd like to set you a challenge. On the screen, there are diagrams of four different molecules. We want you to follow the link to a website called MolView, where you can draw these using the molecular modelling software. Then, use your computer-generated images to complete the quiz at the end of this video. We want you to tell us the name of each molecule, the molecular formula, and whether it is an acid or an alkali. In our next video on acids and alkalis, we'll be talking about the effects that acids and alkalis have on the environment, and what we can do to stop it. But until then, thank, thank you for, for listening, listening. Take, take care, care and, and stay, stay safe. safe.